What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. I'm Tamaj. This is Sam. And this is Rena. And we are on How to Get Away with Murder, Season 3, Episode 7. Call it Mother's Intuition. So either it's referring to... What's his name? Uh, Annalise's... Annalise? Annalise's mother? Or what's her name? Michaela? Michaela's mom. Or Dr. Mom. I'm thinking her because we're getting close to that day, that episode. And her mom has to be introduced at some point because she's there. So I'm thinking this is the episode. And it was, Michaela's about due for some backstory. Um, so I'm just wondering who is in the fire. I'm a little disappointed that it's not Asher, which leaves Connor, Wes, Nate, or possibly Frank. But I just don't feel like we've seen enough of Frank for them to kill him. And then it's just like, who set the fire? Frank seems to be more on their side than not. He seems to be trying to atone. So no, I think them? Annalise set the fire. She just didn't account for someone being inside the house. But the, they said that Laurel, or in the flash forward, Asher said that Annalise text and asked him to come with Laurel, Connor, or whatever. stole her phone. And I was just about to say that, which means no, that Annalise not. wouldn't have set the fire. That So who would know she's about to set the fire? Oh, yeah, because she would tell. She wouldn't ask them to come there. You know what I mean? That would be right. an attempted she murder. Would, and she would also, I feel like, tell them that she was going to set the house on fire. Because it seemed like, um, what's his name? Uh, Oliver knew. So then they wouldn't come to the house. You know? I don't know. But then again, they would think it's her. So maybe like, oh, maybe she's going to set the fire later. Yeah, I don't know. They've been more focused in the flash forwards with teasing who's alive and who's not versus what is going on, actually. Like, what's leading up to it. Like, we haven't seen anything that can lead to this happening. Like, you know what I mean? At least not that I can think of. But she had her phone because she gave it to all. I don't know. I'm so confused. Let's just get into the show. Yeah, because this, this is too much. For one of the reactions I read on Patreon. Here we go. Time to stress us out. You sure you don't want to sleep for your attorney? Just kill me. The official charge, arson and first degree murder. So they do think she said it. The evidence. Not in the source. They provided information that ties you to the charges. How convenient. Yeah, I don't think that. Now, do you want your attorney? You lost your phone. You're close. As the head was at the library. You must have been in contact with your girlfriend, Maggie Travers. We actually broke up. To be clear, my client contacted you the minute he heard you were looking for him. Now he's reaffirmed his original statement about the shooting. So. Can we go? Any chance you saw this man during the scene of the shooting? Had that man in custody for days and days. Clearly, you have enough evidence against him. Against him. What? Don't speak to my son. Standing in the doorway across the street. I remember because I was going to ask him for directions, but he looked upset, so I crossed the street. And he... You know what? I wouldn't have said all that because yeah, you gotta testify. I would have just been like, I don't remember. It's a You're mad. So you agree at the right to be pissed off? I didn't have said anything. You lied. Why? If Charles were your client, you'd have that gun thrown out before he even got to trial. He's got his fingerprints on it. Who shoots your father and doesn't get rid of the gun? How do you know Charles doesn't have an alibi? That this wasn't just their way of catching him in a lie? Tell me. Stuck with your original statement. It's okay. Is it? May I call the even the NYPD is only interested in Charles. It's a good headline for him. You heard from Frank? No. Maybe we got lucky he killed himself. <laughs> Come on, my well, client's waiting. That's lucky. Finally, they tested my blood and uh -huh. realized I had been poisoned with antifreeze. Oh, you finna get a nice loss. Those who did this to you. 
Is this like... I searched my soul. There's no understanding any of this. No. What kind of children try to kill their own mother? That whole interview was an Oscar performance. Mr. Duvall? She's probably not even sick. Jerry, back me up on this. She's not a nice lady. We don't care. Listen, from here on out, the only feelings we have for your mother are love and devotion. The prosecution has forced us into holding depositions before the trial. Their excuse is that Edith can die at any time. So it would be in our best interest to get the case thrown out pre-trial. Not an easy task considering the evidence. Is it true that you and your siblings exchanged text messages about killing your mother? We were joking. So you're claiming the text, let's cut our head off and boil it in the slow cooker with the chili, was a joke. You knew how much mom loves chili, you'd get why well, that's funny. Edith will be present at all the depositions. Talk about dark humor. This is a ploy by the prosecution to trigger our clients into saying something stupid on camera. Quite possible, considering who we're dealing with. So you guys had family dinner at the restaurant once a week, is that right? If we didn't show even just once, we'd be removed from the will. And let's share it. That's an example of a question you might want to just answer with a yes or no. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm in the middle of my crap. And I'm just trying to make sure that our client understands the full weight of each and every one of his responses. Right. Yeah, I understand. Great. But I do want to warn each of you that Mom is a genius manipulator. Oh. Show any weakness in front of her and she'll use it to her advantage. The key to beating this is to make sure the siblings present a united front. Is it possible one of your brothers did this? No. Nelson and Jared both love our mother dearly. And do you? Of course. Really? Even though her pet name for you was Big Kahuna's Karen? They need to speak in detail about their affection for their mother. I had matured quite early, but she wouldn't let me wear a bra. Instead, she just came up with a nickname. Half Nelson, because she said it fit my below average IQ. Jerky Jared, because she caught me masturbating once. This is a woman who read my diary in front of all the employees at a staff meeting. If she smells blood, wow. she goes in for the kiss. So you did want her dead? You tell me who did it. And I'll buy him a drink. <laughs> and if you get some major Keating vibes, yeah, at least you're gonna get a headache like, this week. Uh, controlling, sadistic, power monger who lies to her kids' faces, verbally abusive. Did you just admit you want to poison in the lease? No. That's what I heard you say. Me too. Me three. What a train wreck. Whenever you mention the word mommy, they turn into sniffling ingrates. It'd be malpractice to put them in front of a camera. So, will we file a motion to postpone? No, we'll float the prosecution a new suspect, and they'll cancel the depositions completely. Look into any disgruntled restaurant employees first. I'm gonna go talk to this busboy. Wanna ride? I'll talk to people too. Cool. <laughs> I'll talk to people too. They just wanna hang out. I love it. <laughs> They're really gonna kill Frank. Right? Mm, as long as I leave us out of the ones. <laughs> Maybe we just come on. Come on. I'm not worried about Annalise. She's so sad. She still hates me. Yeah, but I don't want to be thinking about Annalise right now. What the fact that you lied to the police this morning? Yeah. Right, that was so stupid. He honestly could have just said, like, That's right, man. I don't want that. Because don't you forget him to go to let I'm sorry, I ain't heard nothing you said, girl. You saying what? Oh, fuck. Damn. Let me be great. Let us have something. Come on, like, I'm finally having scenes that aren't fucking Asher and Michaela. I am living in Frank Shows Up. Like fucking Michael Myers. You need to call him. No. Tell him I'm here. Welcome him with open arms. He's gonna reach out to any of us. It's not going to be me. I said things he didn't take so well. Is she drinking milk out the bottom? Or that's what she I said bottom. That he Carton. doesn't deserve you. Do you really just want to wait for him to show up? Her eating salami out the pack is like meat and sweet bologna out the pack. It's only six. Yeah, well, the orange juice ain't cut. Let me tell you. A truck driver had called 911, said I'd fallen asleep. Nico and Grace were in the car with me. I picked them up at the nanny's. At the nanny's after work. Meaning the happy hour after work. Apparently, I pulled over to the side of the road, fell asleep with the car running. Nico ran into the street to wave down help. Oh. 
My husband, Raul, filed for custody the night of the day. Hope he divorced his ass. <laughs> it's not him I'm mad at. It's me. I'm a drunk mother, and I have to live with what I put my kids through for the rest of my life. Today's my uh, one-year anniversary. <laughs> and I'm doing okay. I work my steps. I see Nico and Grace twice a week, supervised visits. They're still upset, and they don't hide it. And I get it. They get to be upset with me right now. They get to hate me right now. I'm a real. I am ashamed of what I did, of course, but I'm, yeah, I'm pissed too. I'm the mother. But they won't even look me in the eye. And it just, it makes me want to shake them yell or something so that they see it I'll do anything to get them back anything I just don't think it means that I should lose my kids you never know what somebody going through just by looking at them I was Frank what? Right. Snuck off you, right? Are you kidding me? You're I'm never leaving. Yes, you are. No, you're asking for But you deserve it sometimes. They think I was just with Frank. Maybe you were both with him. Oh, two beards, one girl. That's hot. Okay. That sexualizing me without my permission is creating a hostile work environment. She's <laughs> right. Thank you. Shut up. We're still not friends. Okay. Oh, there goes my bitches. That's been the motto since okay. the first season. We are Tell not. Me my waitress is a known black widow. Uh, no, she moved to Maine six months before the poisoning, but look what Thomas sent me. Mm. Thought I was going to get to see his penis. No, Thomas isn't like that. And we were talking about how we hate it when guys send flowers, so this is him being ironic. It's cute. I choose you, Hackachu. Roger Colby, produce manager, and he did hack his killer face. Yeah, I've got like 20 other employees people ask me to look into, you, so. Mm, yeah, you have time to send lame text messages to your acupuncturist. Oh, it's still going on? Yeah, we're going on our third date tomorrow night. Ooh, third date's the sex date. You ready to get it in? Or is he the one getting it in? Shh, Kyle, I'll hear you. Okay, I was fine with him cruising Humper in front of me. Those are one-offs. You're really falling for this guy. It's not that serious. <laughs> Asher's so it's not, guys. Really? Oh, he's a terrible liar. No way. Please. But I can't sign until the meeting's over. Otherwise, half this room will bail on the break. <laughs> That'd be such a bad thing. <laughs> Show your face around here more often. I'll look you up one time. Careful. I hear he's a 13th stepper. He screws the new people. Well, he's barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> that took guts. Yeah, yeah. Put me in front of a courtroom, sure, but spilling my dirt to strangers. It's probably easier. You get there. Mm, I, doubt I think that. it's harder to spill your dirt to people you know. Sometimes. So, um, group of people you got you know, your anyway. student a lawyer? The one the police were looking for? I recommended a lawyer. You need one too? Sounds like your husband's got a pretty good case. Look, I'm just being friendly here to the point where I'm questioning my own self-respect. You think I want to be friends? I said the only reason I have to come to these stupid meetings is because of you. No, well, you're here because you smacked a client. So let's just consider a scenario where I'm not the enemy here. I'm just hungry. So you're gonna take uh, and it's the help. dishwasher at the restaurant. Whatever happened to you being totally against me doing any illegal hacking? It's my GPA. I work. You're being ridiculous. Yeah, you're the one who no. got him out of the You know what's ridiculous is you not looking at your text in front of me. Why? Is it Thomas? No. I guess he's taking to the Poconos this weekend. Oh, he could get you one of those rooms, the champagne yeah, glass. Oh, yeah. You smell that, people? That's the stink of an automatic. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey. Yeah, all the hack produce guy's email. Guess what he sent someone a link to? Just Why are you throwing three his weeks business out there? He's doing a legal shit. It's an article about antifreeze. He emailed this article to someone about three weeks before your mother got sick. I told you we could never do this. I know. Guys. Seriously, can I give you a hug? No, no she wanna tell y'all something. Guys, you can't show the prosecution that email. This is our get out of jail free card. She's the recipient. Why not, Karen? Roger sent that email to me. I know it. We've been seeing each other for the past year. 
He knew about our text, so emailed me the article's joke. Who has a freaking secret email address? Or a secret boyfriend? I didn't want mom to sabotage it. Is that why you tried to kill her too? I didn't. Please, I love my mother. I would never do anything to hurt her. You need to drop her and just represent us. Uh yeah. What? This is a you family of snakes. The only idiots they can connect this to. That's not true. It's a conspiracy charge. All the texts implicate all of you. So if there's proof one of you did it, it proves all of you did it. You stupid you little bitch! Because of you? If anyone of you did this to set me up... Hey! Your depositions are tomorrow, so you all have to stick to the story I that we prepared. Could, I cut both can tomorrow. you do that? Or should we just send you all to jail right now? You show weakness, mama gonna get you. Right, this is like big mom for one piece. Listen, this family's unstable. Talk about turning on each other when it comes down to it. They all choose self-preservation over unity. Slow That's down. terrible. What are you doing here? Nothing, just got a meeting with Dee. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen you around the house much. No. Well, it was, uh, it was good to see you. Hey. You were supposed to be Wes's new daddy. I go with the YPD. You and Mama Annalise. They came to the station looking for you. I would write your name. It's fine. My, uh, my lawyer took care of it. Annalise? Now this guy she recommended. Just watch your ass. I'm good. Let's make a skin suit out of her and wear it to the funeral. Mr. Duvall, you wrote that Why? text to your brother Why and sister just two weeks before your mother took ill. Is that correct? I was just venting. <laughs> Here she go. <laughs> I'm dying, y'all. Look. Dark sense of humor can get anyone through hard times. Are you speaking of the hard times you experienced due to working with your mother? Anyone who works with family knows it's not easy. And how would you describe your relationship with your mother outside of work? I'd say just like any other mother-daughter relationship. Because it was so contentious? <clears throat> no. Even when we disagreed, there was always love between us. Jared, a co-worker of yours stated that your mother humiliated you in front of a woman you were dating. Do you recall this event? I do not. Let me remind you. Edith then proceeded to tell a story about how Jared once reached under his mother's dress at his birthday party when he was 13. He was 14 and old enough to know better. I strike Mrs. Duvall's last statement from the record and remind her she's not allowed to speak. I apologize. Well, you must have been angry with your mother for emasculating you like that. Especially in front of a woman you'd hoped to be intimate with. She was never going to screw him. My client needs a break. He's a virgin. Probably will be till he dies. And you wonder why people want you dead? Jared. What kind of monster gets off on mocking her son? One of us needs to get off. I look forward to the day you die. See, why would you say something like that now? I'm not. See the depot is made under the most pretenses. That way the footage can never be shown in court. And if we lose that motion, the explosion gets played for the entire jury at trial. <laughs> This was real. It's real for me. Dude, maybe Frank saw this, got mad, stole Annalise's phone, it's and lured Wes and Laurel there to burn the house. But why Asher was involved, I don't know. I've wanted this since our first day in class. <laughs> he answered that question for me, and Annalise destroyed it. <laughs> you never said anything. That's your family. Come on. <laughs> They're adorable. Y'all can't tell me otherwise. Seriously. This is the best parent. I thought I'd never stand a chance. Look at you now. Huh? Like, they're both actually happy for us. Regardless of all the baggage, they can get through it and speak themselves. Even though they're both critical thinkers. And hey, open thinkers. What is it? It always is. You being a personal Kirby sword won't go away. You just break okay, it. 
Charles Mahoney has an alibi. My team was able to uncover evidence concretely placing Charles at a location far from the scene oh as well as shooting. Once yeah, the DA's office was confused, that. there's evidence I'm confident that these unwarranted ludicrous charges will be dropped. My client will be able to get back to running the company as well as the building. Tell me you said the police were leaving. The lie. Even left to San Francisco, it's will in the weeks. She's trying to give you comfort. So we're not safe. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what to do. That's the truth. Sometimes I lie to protect you to keep you from worrying. Because I know I can drive a person insane. No, it's Especially the lies Conrad. that drive us insane. Seriously, you ask us to trust you and you keep hiding stuff from us. She is doing the best she can. We're not asking her to be perfect. Okay, we're just asking her to be honest. Are you not capable of that? Otherwise, we might find out that you're not as smart as we think you are. So you have things to get off your chest, let's do this. I don't want to end up poisoned. So you tell me all the ways you think I ruined your life. Come, on. Come at me. She says she can take the blows, let it out. I said, come at me! She said she gonna take off the whole pack. Come on, then. Then you pimped me out to Caleb like I was some kind of oh. hooker. You knew I was vulnerable after Aiden, so you sent me into that psychopath's arms. I never told you to screw that boy. You wanted me to. In what world do I have enough time to think about who you pulled on your skirt? You're not allowed to talk right now. Uh -huh. This is our time. You said that, so sit there and take it. Well, this would have happened if you just let us go to the police after Sam. But you know, instead, you no. you started this insane game of chess of uh, running around and lying. I thought you were this amazing, powerful woman. But look at your life. You have no one. I do whatever you say. That's what our relationship is. You controlling me and me following your orders like some. Puppet. I thought my father was a bully, but you take it to a whole other level. Yeah, and now we're, we're all basket cases, but you don't mean you like that. I mean, you don't respect any of us. The worst part is that I don't think you respect yourself. It makes me feel sick. It's a part of me still just wants to please you. Cold, Michaela going in. Being an alcoholic. I don't want to you. I'm angry this way that I didn't know it was possible. It makes me feel alone. You're not happy. And scared. We're not happy. I wake up every morning and I think maybe we should just go to jail. None of us are happy. And it's making me act insane. Phony. Confused. Miserable. Pathetic. Pissed off. Sad. Hopeless. Toxic. Insane. Where's the so I'm not doing this. I'm getting tired. Connor, he been tired. That's the one thing I could agree with out of everything he said, but yeah. Michaela just went in for the digs. Laurel, she was hurt. I can take it, Wes. It's not that. Wes, like, I already shot your ass. I already know how I feel about you. So, yeah. Wes said, I took the shot. That spoke for it, so. Songs and guillotine, which is to cut off someone's head. They went in on her. Right. They did say they cut off the you're not? It's not how your body looks. It's how you use it. There's no shame in this. You can react however he wants to react. The most important thing is that you just gotta be you. Oh, we gotta tell him you got HIV. <sighs> I uh, hope you don't mind. I went into your drawer. Just figured we could probably use this. Yeah, that, um, that depends. Oh, I see. Now you're gonna play hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> you're about to just blurt it out. I'm pause. <laughs> the way he stopped. Like undetectable. Like I, I went to the doctor a week ago, which means if we use a condom, it's actually safer to have sex with me than it is with someone who says he's negative, but then like hasn't been tested recently. Just telling you all this because uh, you're naked, which is awesome. <laughs> like, are you mad? No, 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 of course not. Uh, I was just really starting to like you. Is that such a bad thing? Oh my God, no, I'm, I'm sorry, this is, uh, this is coming out all wrong. Is it? 
Yes. I don't need you to mince words. This is just new to me. Yeah, it's new to me too. Can you understand? I mean, it's just... I don't know, it's a, it's a lot to process. Oliver, honestly, I, I don't know if I'm ready to deal with all this. Finally, they tested my blood and realized uh, I, I had been clear poisoned well. with antifreeze. Sorry. At this point, it's not a matter of if, but when it takes my life. Look at Bonnie. So you might be hungry. She's so Is sweet. That minute? When she wants to be. Few whole weeks of no drinking, and they can add fat ass to their list of insults. <laughs> They're just scared. Help me solve this just case. How about using this interview? You could say it biased the jury pool, making a fair trial impossible. You could motion for a bench trial. Or if we do have a jury trial, we'll see. Everything. Because that's what a mother does. Bonnie. What? Edith poisoned herself. That's insane. She was known by Karen's secret emails and did it to herself. You have no proof. Let's just say I can understand why a mother would want to punish her ungrateful children. Okay. Uh, so you confront her during her deposition? No. You confront her during her deposition. Come on. What, you don't want the automatic aid? She's gonna start trying to make it up to you. She's trying to be a good person. Mrs. Duvall, but she needs during to know his deposition feel. yesterday, your oldest son, Jared, testified that- My oldest is Nelson. Oh, sorry. Um, your Nelson testified that uh, you depended on him for everything. Is that what he said? Uh, I believe so, is that not true? I relied on my son for things any mother would. I just never thought he'd try to murder me for that. All right. Hang on. My, uh, it's a part of the game. She's a disaster. I think so too. Okay, perhaps you should take over. So our witness isn't forced to be up here for too long. This is a teaching clinic. Just let us know if you need a break. Oh, no. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Here, really? would you say you're involved in your children's love lives? Well, there isn't much to be involved in, sadly. Really? But they're all single. Unhappily so. Oh, because I believe Karen mentioned she was involved with a man who delivered your produce. Oh, Roger Colby used her for sex. That's not a real relationship. <sighs> Mrs. Duvall, Karen kept her relationship with Roger a secret. So how'd you find out about it? Discredit her. Call it mother's intuition. Or did you find out by snooping into her secret emails? Excuse Come on, me. go in and leave some. You require your employees to lock their cell phones you in your the voice pitch get a little high. Right? You know the then you it's start drilling her. A policy that allowed you to read Karen's email about Come on. poisoning you, which is why you decided to poison yourself. That's how angry you were at them. I call for a break. I will not be accused of lies in this then room. Then admit what you did. Is this what you wanted? To tell everyone how you feel? You gave your children your life and they paid you back by fantasizing about your death? It devastated you to the point that you risked your life to teach him a lesson. Mr. Duval, you have the right to seek advice of counsel. We hit it. We hit it right Children on the head. always take their mothers for granted. Oh, Maybe now mine won't. That was it. You hit it right on the head. Her feelings was hurt. As soon as she found out what they were saying behind her back. The automatic A is yours, Miss Castillo. Deserve. The rest of you, I suggest you start studying. I'm in the mood to give some ifs. <laughs> oh, she handed you that win. Don't look so cocky. <laughs> okay, but she, she took one out of Emily's playbook. She, she did it. Played uh, dumb. on me, and everyone, back. at Liberty Hill. Come on. Uh, you know, I should go study. Now don't go back to Connor now because you got turned down. Uh -uh. Can't make it. Because you would have moved on if you weren't positive. Hey, you, you just okay? think Connor the only one that's going to accept you. Don't do that, man. Because mm -hmm. you ain't had no reason to leave Connor in the first place. I don't know. President Hargrove. Give me your phone. I'm sorry. I know the best family attorney in the city. Um, not me either. But Owen and I are trying to work things out. And you know he's not going to change his mind? 
Her name is Nina Horton. She's great. Thanks. She really is trying to be a nice person. Now that they, they have less shady things going on simultaneously, Frank aside, she can actually be a good person and start to remedy these problems. She's trying to do a hard reset. I can really see that with Annalise. You finally want your shot to come at me too? I ran into Nate at the courthouse. Did he say something to you? He told me to be careful. Of me? I'm sorry, I lied to the police. It's fine. Not if Charles has an alibi. You just have to say that you saw someone who looked like him. And then what? You wait till the next terrible thing happens? I wanted to tell Nate it's you who should be protected from me. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Just say whatever other things. But they're wrong. You don't have the luxury to feel guilty right now. It's not fair to your mother. She sacrificed for you to have a good life. So that's your job to live as good as you can. We both know where that. Frank? Uh -huh. Hey, I don't like that look on his eyes. Stop. It's them eyes, boy. Hey. hey. You drunk? Yeah, close the door. Yep. I drink that bar. Now let him think on his decisions because I still don't. I know he really like Oliver though. Did something happen with Thomas? Yeah, Thomas isn't ready to date a pause guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's not. Uh, I'm gonna say something, but I'm not sure if it's just me being selfish. Say it. I miss you. And I, I know I shouldn't tell you that because I. I broke up with you <laughs> and I, I hurt you and I see that every single day. So for me to come here just because I'm like sad and depressed, that's not fair. Correct. Yeah. You can always come to me. You know that. Connor's too nice to him. Isn't that just selfish though? No. Because I miss you too. But Connor's being consistent. He was ready to take all the punches, like, earlier in the uh, season. Even when he messed up, Connor was like, it's fine. So he's still being himself, but... Not himself, he's a lot more calm now. Well, I mean, he was calm before. Yeah, mm -hmm. You right. He was more douchey, but yeah. He's still douchey. Tell her everything. I just felt like I needed to do something that proves she can still trust me. I'm so sorry I left you. Was Laura not home? Oh, she was. <laughs> she must have been your first stop. Bonnie knows you too well. I'm just your sloppy seconds. Mm -hmm. Bye. Don't get your feelings hurt. I understand that. I'm not mad. I'm just bored. I needed to go fix things on my own. Then tell me that instead of abandoning me in some motel room. I was afraid you'd stop me. I don't believe you. I lied to Annalise to help you. This ain't even her house. She Risked in everything. She you know, just threw it back in my face. You used me. No, that meant something to me. I can't believe anything you say anymore. I screwed up. And I hate myself for that. You should. But I need you so bad right now. You killed us the minute you left me in that room. This isn't you talking. This is the most honest I've ever been with you. It's Annalise. She's in your head. Annalise was the only one of us who was right about you. Sam just fell for your act. And so did I. And that was the worst mistake any of us ever made. Please don't do this. Get out. I'll do anything. I said get out. He need to figure his life out. But I can definitely see him now lashing out at Annalise because he tried to sit there and say, Annalise is in your hand. Like, he's going to feel like Laurel's off the you know, table to him, Bonnie is, Annalise. Like, it, he might just snap. Oh, to God, Connor's not here. Oh, 
That shit wanna make noise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you two are friends again? We've always been friends. Yay to my bromos! <laughs> Asher? Uh, sorry, Gimlin. Duty calls. McKay was like, get your ass in here. Get back to business. Connor, why is my duvet upside down? <laughs> I'd probably be drunk too if I already had an A on the midterm. I'm not drunk. I'm tipsy. <laughs> I'll give you my A if you want it. I know how hard tests are for you. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> okay, you should probably Frank is here. before you hurt yourself. I'll see you in class tomorrow, okay? <sighs> Bye. Good night. Night. Love you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, run right away! She's like, I didn't mean to say that. Too soon. Really? I knew it. <laughs> I can always call his appearance. It's like something about the, the mood of the scene. You just know when Frank is gonna oh. appear. No, I don't think you that. Please be Wes's baby. Please be Wes's baby. Please be Wes's baby. Please be Wes's baby. Is that cool? Yeah, I can't imagine that. Mm -hmm. Imagine having something like that down your throat and you're waking up to it. Can you tell y'all something? Wes? Fuck. Don't play with me. He was in the house. He was in the house. Oh, here it is. Community. What? Okay. What? So he's not there. Hallelujah. The evidence. Anonymous source provided information that ties you to the charges. You sure you don't want an attorney present? Yeah. Your pet. What's turned on Annalise? So he's not in the house. So he that's found out this about his mom. As is this. But I thought he already knew everything. Obstruction of justice and conspiracy. So I want that in writing too. That's the blanket immunity. You want someone to help take her down. This is the only way I talk. That's the only way he did it. So then, okay, well, we can rule Wes out. So then the only other person in the house would be Connor, Connor or Nate. I mean, or Frank, but I don't understand how those are the last three. Well, we, I, I'm, I can breathe because we can rule out Wes, but... We literally got two episodes till we get to the shit. But I'm just like. I don't know. But, yeah, I see that as the only way he could ever like snitch on any of that. Because they were doing good. Their relationship has been perfect. Unless Wes has been against her this whole time and just been playing her. No. 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 Because like they had. he, She tried to get him to confess how he felt and he was calm and was like, you already know how I feel about you. Like maybe he didn't want to play his card. Like he's having a real good poker face. Like maybe he is pissed. Like, cause didn't, if I'm not mistaken, he kind of forgave real easy last season after he found everything out. But I don't think he found everything out. I don't remember. Let me see what I put in my notes for Wes. Granted, I haven't been as detailed as I was in the beginning, Wes thinks he killed his own mom, dating Maggie and avoiding loan with the thoughts of the breakup with Maggie. Yeah, I ain't really right now. Yeah, um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously something could happen next week, but I just don't see anything wrong at the moment. Um, I don't get it. I don't know what Frank's going to say to Laurel. Um, I don't know. And what is he confessing to that he needs immunity? Like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. That one actually stumped me. Can't even go down a rabbit hole with that. It's either about his mom, and I mean, and his dad, and just that whole situation, because that's been eating him up. Um, I don't know. Like, because Annalise could make a move next week, because she is trying to help Wes with that situation from the side, but. I mean, and you know this show is misleading. They could be talking about something completely different. It might not even be just about Annalise. I don't know. I don't know. But my whole thing is, too, the fire started. You know, when you start seeing or smelling smoke, the first thing you're going to do is run out the house. Why was Laurel unconscious? Why couldn't they get to the door? Why couldn't they jump out the window? Why did, like, did somebody knock them out? Yeah. Because, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. How do you, you got to be in smoke for a long time and it's, they're very familiar with the house. It's not like it's hard to get to the door. Right. Um, and you're going to, before the house burns, and you know, unless you're asleep, you're going to notice pretty quick if the house is smoky or whatever. If it's, if something's on fire, you're going to know. I mean, the house looks a bit dated, but I'm sure it has a fire alarm somewhere. So I'm just trying to figure this all out. Like, unless they were attacked, like... She went unconscious. She knew enough to know that Wes was there. But why would Wes not be concerned about her safety? Like, why would he be, especially if she, he knew she was in the house, you know, you would think his first thought would be, let me go check on Laurel, not let me go to the police station and get me an immunity, doc, you know, deal. Like, so I'm just trying to figure some shit out because unless he was never there, she went to meet him because they all got that group text. Asher clearly didn't go when they got the text. Maybe she thought Wes was going to go as well. And so she went, but then somebody else was in the house with her, which could be Frank or Nate. I mean, Nate, again, hasn't been around, but that's he could have a change of heart at any point and stop by and just be right place, wrong time. It's not like they've been doing much with him lately anyway, other than having him sleep with the enemy and Elise's enemy. So I'm just trying to figure it all out. And we haven't seen Bobby, have we? No, I don't know. We just need more clues. We need more clues. Cause, uh, could, could Bonnie be? No, I think Bonnie was her lawyer. Um, she did show up. She's like, I'm trying, and at least I'm trying to figure things out. So no, I think Bonnie's good. Yeah. So it's just the ones we think. Um, but anyway, Annalise, she's. I really do think she's trying to turn over a new leaf. Um, she was going around. She let everybody get things off their chest. She helped Laura out. She continued to further her teaching skills. She's really shifted to actually teaching. Um, and then she tried to help her boss out, um, giving her a recommendation for a family lawyer. And she's trying to deal with her problems. I don't think she's fully accepted her alcoholism. Like she is still talking about, yeah, just a few more weeks and I can go back to drinking. Like she's still in the mindset of wanting to go back. But yeah, I mean, she she, she don't have kids, so it's not like oh, I gotta get sober for my kids. Um, she is a functioning alcoholic, so it's not like she can't do her job and drink. She ain't got no relationships currently, and it doesn't look like things are any, going anywhere towards um, you know amendment with her and Nate. So it's like, but I don't know. She's she's trying. I I noticed a big difference in Annalise this season. She's trying, but the problem is. With everybody else, the damage is done. And no matter how much they try to move on, it, it's still there. You know what I mean? They're not, they don't have alcoholism to turn to when they're upset. Like Annalise, as we saw early in the season, when she had an issue, she drank to run from it or to cope with it or whatever. They don't do that. You know, Connor ran to a relationship and that was his drug, love. Um, Michaela buried herself in work. Laurel buried herself in thoughts and trying to figure things out. And Wes also drove himself insane with conspiracy theories. And so it's like they all did suffer in a sense. And now this season, I, I feel like they are finally trying to get back on track. They're trying, keyword, but nobody's completely there. 
And then obviously shit's about to get stirred up. But this has been the calmest season by far. It's just more mystery. And I do think things are going to ramp up a bit more. But it's still really good. So. Yeah. You got anything else you want to add? No. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Of course, we want to hear what you guys thought. Please share, like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to Patreon for more. Anyway, see you guys for more. How to get away with murder. Bye.